think it's episode 14, right? Is that right? 14. 14? That gone. We're getting up there, boys. We're oh. finding the finding the time to get it in, even though we're in contest prep. Hey, I had to I had to cut the cardio a little short. I'm gonna have to go back second session tonight, but that's because I love y'all. Hey, I you, love gotta burn the candle. you gotta burn the candle at both ends. <laughs> hey, we're doing it, baby. Yeah. Hey, we're doing it. Hey, just under um uh, just under four out. Cause I think I weigh in on Thursday and compete on Friday, I think. So you're, three, so, you're three and a half. Yeah, three and a half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's time to supercharge it, boy. They only give you one day, so you're not going to be able to fill too much again. Yeah, man. It's going to be identical, basically, to uh, our show, USA. Yeah, I hate yeah. those shows, though. <laughs> I, I like them, but I hate it because my body never goes live till the second day. I, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. After doing the Olympia, I know I'm going to look better if I've got an extra day to eat and like go super, super, super hard on night one and then kind of day two coast in. I always look better full like that. And uh, those, those quick turnarounds, though, I, I love it just because it's like, all right, let's eat a couple meals, go to bed, wake up tomorrow morning, it's on, it's game time, you know, because that, that second day, Man, I sit around all day in front of that job. I'm like, I'm like, man, should I eat some more? Or, you know, I was like, man, fun. I got a, I got a family size box of pop tarts over here in Rice Krispie Treats. They need a little <laughs> love too, you know. So it's hard, it's hard to hold back. But what y'all up to this week? Uh, prep life, man. Just training and doing cardio and eating my meals, man. Not too much exciting stuff going on today. Went to the beach. Hey, about my hey, uh, hey, don't be getting flashbacks. Don't be getting flashbacks. Them sirens. Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, our yeah. boy, our boy, our boy got a little ticket action. Yeah, man. I had to pay that this week. One hundred and seventy-four dollars. Yeah, I think it's like um, in Kentucky, it's around one hundred and fifty-five court costs, and then it's like. One dollar per mile per hour over, or something like that. So it's not. That sounds, that sounds about yeah. right. That was yeah. eleven miles over. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. Man, eleven. That's that's tough. No, eleven stuff. Yeah. I mean, shoot. I and you I, know, he had me going. It was downhill, and I was passing somebody. Man, somebody must have got on him. He needed to get some more activity in because that's yeah, he's get some quota. You know, he's like, I usually don't, yeah. usually don't, we don't mess with people at 10 miles an hour and over. You were just a little over at 11. I'm like, ah, oh, thank you. <laughs> Dang. Thanks. Dang, 11. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, I'd oh, have to let yeah. you slide for 11. I'd let you slide all day. <laughs> yeah, I'd, just, like, I'd give you a bicep flex and be like, all right, I know what's up. Hey, hey, respect, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Pound it. <laughs> 98. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be like, I'd be like, hey, well, are you competing, man? You're looking lean. He'd yeah. be like, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah thanks. <laughs> please tell you me I'm on ahead. time. You can <laughs> please, tell me, please tell me I'm on time. <laughs> I'm yeah. three and a half weeks out. How are we looking? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was y'all's weights today? I was 267. I was 267. I gained nine pounds this week. All right. So let's talk about this. How'd you gain nine pounds? I don't know. I think it's just my body. So I always drop really low in the start of the prep. Then I hit like a bottom and then I start gaining and just kind of like getting harder. So was your cardio the same? Uh, cardio the is exactly prior? the same. Diet really? was exactly the same. Everything was the same. I did notice I'm holding a little bit more water in my legs. Um, like yeah. I, I can tell by my ankles. And I think that's because I was I've been walking a lot more, getting more steps in. See, I think so, that's why my legs you see that posing video I posted uh last night, you know, like two in the morning. My legs were huge, but they were they were holding a lot of water. And I think that's I'm doing so much freaking cardio. You think I'd be losing water, but it's the inflammation. I think no, you know, I think with you, all, all that work. 
I hold more water the more cardio I do. And I've also, my working hours kind of extend a little bit. So I'm kind of, you know, I work longer, like sit, you know, feet down, um, just collecting more water down there. But my I'm sleep big was salt. good. Digest, digestion what, was good. Training was really salt? good. Except for, what's that? What about salt? Yeah, I do like eight. Like, I don't really count too much, but about eight yeah. cranks on the sea salt. I think I'm laying sea salt on all my meals. Eight, eight, eight per, per meal. <laughs> what's that? Yeah. <laughs> Is hey, that a lot? Yeah. I mean, I slowly I, build up. I do like four or five. Yeah, I do four right now, but I slowly build up over prep. So, like, the leaner I get, the more salt I'm doing because I'm not having many carbs. So, that artificial pump. Yeah, that's what I was trying because when I hit that, when I hit on two on Wednesday, I hit 258 and my performance was terrible. I, I was weaker on every single lift that day. And then I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. And yeah, I, so I, I didn't feel that. hydrated. I didn't feel hydrated. So, then now I'm kind of paying attention more and making sure I'm cranking the salt on there. Yeah, you have um, to do it low carb because you're flushing so many minerals without any carbs. Nothing sticks. Yeah, and I wasn't peeing as much this week. I noticed too after that because I was peeing like a like a racehorse. Like every thirty minutes, I was peeing, and then now I'm not as much. I, it's water, so I'm not like worried about it. But no, um, yeah. yeah, I feel better. My tra- and then my training got a lot better. It's like I was like, oh damn, man, because I hate like like they was like way worse. Like I hit like. 15 on the 140s on incline dumbbell the week before and i got like 12 i was like <laughs> and i was like oh that's out of nowhere. so then i did another set and i got like eight i'm like dude, <laughs> <laughs> dude this is bad and then even on like flies and like other smaller movements i got worse on and then i didn't have any pump at all and i was like so it had to be a water issue and that's why my weight was so low I don't want any part of 140s right now, so I'll let you. I'll let you experiment with them. Oh, uh, dude, dude, I, I'm gonna do. I squatted fucking six plates on barbell back squats today. Dang, son, dead. Dude, huh? I'm training with this. I'm training with my buddy John. He was the uh, 240 all time world record powerlifting champ. So he's strong. He's uh, super heavy, and so he's strong as an ox, man. And Goodness so he's gracious. Like, yeah, we'll start with. We'll start with leg extension, superset with uh, uh, elevated heel back squats. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a killer and superset. What was, what was messed up today? He got in the fender bender. Some uh, some lady re-rendered him. So yeah. he's about an hour late. So I just trained like, I did calves for like 30 minutes and then I messed around like doing back stuff for about another 30 minutes. So I already had like a full workout there. And then he shows up. I'm like, all right, let's go. Cool. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dude, I was dying, man. Jeez. I died today. Man. But I was good because I did a, a refeed yesterday. So I did like you probably do? like 750 total carbs, maybe probably 800 actually. So about 400 over my normal. But I just did straight rice checks and rice uh, dish, yeah. uh, bump up. Keep it clean. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't do anything crazy. What about you, Casey? You had a cheat meal lately? <laughs> Yeah, I had a cheat meal finally last night. Oh, uh, let's hear it about was it. Chipotle, just Chipotle and then a little bit of ice cream from Hagen Dazs because it's so limited ingredient, the whole thing. <laughs> how much? How many calories it. was in the Hagen Dazs? Is it was I it a pint? It like, or? Uh, yeah, I think it's like nine hundred for the one I got. Yeah. Hagen Dazs is like nine hundred. Yeah, yeah, the only ingredients of Hagen Dazs is like heavy cream and like sugar. And yeah, like sugar, whatever. cream, flavor, and then like eggs, egg yolk for the yeah. Binder. That's it. That there's like yeah, four there's like five ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. So it's super simple. So that's why I got that one because you know I can't have too many stuff. Um, and then yeah, so I had that because I hit my goal weight of two fifty four um, yesterday. So then I fed up a little bit, and then today I was two fifty six. So perfect little refeed to get weighed up a little bit, glycogen refilled, and then. Tomorrow starts a new week on my lips, so hopefully I'll kill it. <laughs> hey, so I'm the low dog, like I should be. 251, <laughs> 251.4 this morning. Yeah, you are uh, the shortest, and you're also in the closest, so you should be the Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, when I got back from the gym, I did, uh, I did 80 minutes on the recumbent bike. I usually like to do 45 and 45. And then second session hit 30 for my two hours a day. Um, 
but man, it, it was feeling good. I was turning the glutes, every pedal. And, uh, I had some stuff to do on my phone. I can't remember what I was doing, but so I sit there and I was like, man, I'm, I'm going to keep going until I get tired of it. Cause if I'm cardio is one of those things, when you got a lot to do, you try to just make it least stressful as possible. You know, you'll get on a different machine. If you, if you're getting burned out on one machine, you know what I mean? Keep it moving. At least that's what yeah. I do. But, um, uh, I so, get um, <laughs> so a hey, 80 minutes, I was like, all right, knock out the rest post-workout, which, uh, ended up doing a little sauna, a little sauna action, a little 20 minute sauna action. So I'll just go, uh, later tonight and we'll hang upside down and I'm going to hit 40 on Stairmaster. Get shredded, baby. Hit a little posing. Probably better anyway, doing it, split it up like that. Hey, it is. Yeah. It's just, uh. I can do that on my days off. Uh, it's sometimes it's hard on the days that I work. Just it, it feels so much better to knock everything out. But you know, as soon as I get home from work, I can just eat a meal and go to bed. That's that's my favorite thing to do instead of. Uh, so we, so your working yeah. schedule is go get home, off at, get off, yeah. go to bed almost right after. Yeah, get off get off at midnight. I'd like to you know wind down and be in bed by one. Oh, okay. uh, typically, but if I have to go do extra cardio after I get off work, so, you know, you're talking, get to the gym at one, then cardio for 30, one thirty, do a little tanning, end up being tanning and stretching would be about two. Then you got to go home. Then you're nasty. And then you got to take a shower, you know, so it, it, it extends the, the night, you know, a few do hours. You, uh, do you change in your uniform at work or at home? At home. Oh, so you got to go back, change, go back to the gym. So that has a whole separate step. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I, I live I live close to a bunch of different gyms, so it, it's it's not bad. Hey, I've been out on the hog all weekend, baby. Man, ain't nothing like it. Even though, even though I'm about about the size of the bike is, man, it feels good to get out there and catch a little catch a little breeze on the way to the gym. It's like perfect weather. Yeah, too, right? I've been looking at bikes, man. Dude, it's since you got one. I'm telling you, dude. I think I'm a, a, I'm leaning towards the street glide. Yeah, I'll uh, send you some the bigger, bike models. The bigger bike. Yeah, I'll send you some bike models. Uh, I got a buddy that's a. Uh, that's a motorcycle connoisseur and he's like you need at least you know something like a soft tail or a, i can't remember the different names he gave me i, I don't know much about motorcycles <laughs> yeah um, i just been getting into it looking at yeah, stuff recently yeah. yeah yeah it just you know and all i'm doing is uh riding it you know on a straight strip to the gym every day scouts for road i'm just get out and make a couple turns to get on the main road and then a couple turns to pull in the gym. That's it every day. So you just, you know, there's a lot of traffic too. It's a lot of stopping and going, but it, it's cool to sit there and, you know, just chill, get a little, get a little extra vitamin D action going on. Yeah. But, all right. So 251.4. And when I got home from the gym, 246. So, so, uh, how much more do you think I need to lose? I think you can lose like seven pounds of yeah. fat tissue. Yeah. 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 Not, uh, not, not water, not glycogen, like yeah. fat yeah. tissue. Yeah. Which you could do in, in that amount I think, of time. I think, I think I can do about five, five or six. Yeah. I, I would, I would be happy with five to five to six fat and one to two muscle i'll be all right with that yeah because you you know you start dipping in that muscle when you get so freaking low yeah. let's see five fifty five fifty five that's like 18 50 um eighteen thousand five hundred. right calories got to be in deficit over the next few weeks total so we yeah. five pounds fat 
What do you guys think about that formula, though? I just never, I don't ever think it pans out. I, I get 3,500 well, pounds pound of fat, but like, yeah, I don't some focus reason. on it, but that's just yeah. like, you know, yeah, yeah. no, I know, but like, no, that. no, that's what I was saying, though. It's like, I don't know if like that ever like really pans out. And like, well, it does, you know. Well, when, when you're, I mean, like, when you're trying to get like, go from like, seven percent to like five percent i don't know if it pans out like it does if you're going from like 20 yeah, percent i think it really depends if you like because you know when you get super lean it's like your body will partition nutrients differently so if you have a super high refeed you're not gonna make that progress you want even though you might at the end of the week be in that deficit you know because your body will be more apt to like put it towards fat cells for survival so yeah. when you're super lean it's going to be a harder formula and that's why you can't do as high refeeds half the time I think when you're super lean, I think you're in such a depleted state, you soak it up better in muscle cells versus fat tissue. That too, but you also will partition more towards fat. Just you like scientifically. So? Yeah, hey, scientifically. There's so many, there's so many freaking variables. You know what I mean? I'm just like, there's yeah, it time, sounds good. But that's why it's, it's like the best bodybuilders just literally like they might have little bumps for a couple of days, but not like extreme bumps usually, unless you're like Chad Nichols and you got like a mass monster where you're actually depleting enough glycogen to use up everything that you eat but it's more steady bumps of reef yeah, so I, was, I always found almost the opposite it's like if i'm actually like truly lean i almost feel like i don't put any fat on but it might be a visual thing because i'm not like spilling super bad because yeah you know, already that lean hmm. yeah I, I, I know what you're saying because when i get lean i could do higher days but my high days might be around you know, like 7,000 calories total or around there, I think last prep. And that wasn't enough to like for one day, you know, cause I could divide that up into two days and I'd be pretty much eating at maintenance, yeah. which is technically the best way to carb cycle, but I'd rather do it one day. And then just, you know, I think me and Bartley mostly do that same thing. We have a high day that's like, just kill yourself the rest of the days. That's the way but, I am. Yeah. Just a little this bit week, easier to do that that way. I think. Hey, this week I did things a little different. Um, because I've been rolling some low days. Like I've been, you know, trying to stay under 40 to 50 carbs a day of direct sources. Usually, usually just having like a, a, a 20 carb breakfast and a, and a 20 carb before bed meal and eating like a bird through the day, eating, eating nothing but chicken and cod. And, uh, asparagus every meal through asparagus the day is so tasty and prep i'd rather I i'd rather it. not have those 20 carbs a meal <laughs> i'll just be like nope no nope. It, it makes it it makes Does it, it? I, I mentally i gotta have it um uh, for my morning training session i don't know what it is if i can only pick one time it's that time i can go without it at night you know i do think it makes me sleep better you know I've convinced myself of that. <laughs> it does. It does. It's science. Especially, yeah. especially yeah. fruit. Yeah, yeah, fruit works the best. That's why I've been doing my berries before bed. I'm yeah, I do chain. berries and oats. So it's so good. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, what about an apple? Apple's I a lot of apple food, a day. so that would work. Yeah. Yeah. I, In I theory, like that works too. It's liver glycogen, which it, will apple. keep you sleeping. Apples uh, satiate me more than any other fruit, I think. You know, yeah, apples kind of almost bloat me a little bit with satiates too. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. I like him. Uh, what's y'all's favorite? I like him, my Granny Smith. I like him, Green. Oh, Granny Smith is the best. And we've talked about this before. Or uh, Fuji's. Yes. I like I like Fuji's. Hey, Fuji's are. Those are nice. Yeah. Hey, they're hey they're pretty. Yeah, I like like the red and orange ones. Like ones are I mean, yeah. red and yellow, like a little yeah. red and yellow. Yeah, got that little starburst uh, in the middle of it. Yep, hey. little starburst. <laughs> <laughs> Grannies are the best though, but like because they stay the crunchiest, the longest too. Yeah, the crisp. Like, yeah, the yellow is like so good. The yellow kind, like what's it called, like a California or something? I think they're maybe. they're always mushy, but you know sometimes yeah, I like I, them, sometimes I can get down with it. You know, but yeah. I like that. I like the crisp, little sour bite of a yeah. Granny Smith. You're like, mm. dude, it's like making my mouth water right now. Think about it. <laughs> it's like hey. that little tingle of the sour. Uh, good. Yeah. So, so, what are your total calories at then when you go on those low days? Me? 
Yeah. Um, let's see. So if I do, if I do 40 carbs times four, it's 160. If I do 15 fat times nine, that's 135. And I do protein's been high. 400 times four is 1600. So at 1600 plus 135, and what was the other one? 160. 160. 1895. <coughs> yeah, not, not not, 1900. And I, I need to bring the protein down. That's That's what will bring me in the next few weeks is bringing that down because – there's there's so m much protein going in there that the gluconeogenesis is converting it to carbs. That's keeping you full. Yeah, that's you know keeping me full. Yeah, I'm full every day. <laughs> you know, it looks like a, you know. What? Uh, how far are you gonna drop it? Well, I gotta order my Icon meals tonight. Um, I'm gonna do uh, six ounces. Six ounces. Uh, I did I did uh, seven last week. I won't bring it down to six. I've done five in the past, but man, that's freaking. That's good I do, stuff. I do there. torture. I do six. That's how much my that's my protein yeah. source. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do six just because I'm rolling so low carb. So, um, I'll I'll drop it fifty. Here here's the deal. Like I usually acquire some to go chicken, you know, for mail miles, you know, a few <laughs> nights a week. You know, and it's, I'll have them grill it. No, no oil, you know, and it's, it's fire. And I'll get a plate of it, two pounds I've of seen, it. I've seen that I'll end story. Up, yeah. I'll yeah, end up, eat, does, I'll so end up eating it before is. bed. Yeah. 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 I'll end up eating it before bed, the whole pan, you know, some night. So I, I just got to get disciplined and uh, stop eating that's, extra protein before bed. That's over eight. Yeah. It's definitely over eight. Yeah. 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 So, so I gotta, let's I cut that out and keep his uh, two hours of cardio in full blast. And, uh, I think the longest I've ever done two hours of cardio was like two, two and a half weeks. And that got me peeled quick. So, and that was last year. That was like the last two weeks before the show last year. So I feel like if I'm starting it, if I started it at four weeks, you know, it should uh, bring me in on time. So that's, that's, have that's you, fine uh, for me. I know James is kind of right here, but have you ever gotten like extremely addicted to cardio during a prep and almost like, like I wasted so much muscle, like the, the Arnold 20 going to 2020 because I was so obsessed with our little elliptical machine. I had hit 10 miles every day. It was like horrible. Even on my rest days, I'm like 10 miles, 10 miles, 10 miles. <laughs> my legs just start well, shrinking. Well, I was like, I well, you just do don't, again. it's, uh, you know, you don't want to feel outworked. And when you got a piece of cardio equipment, you know, you, you tend to hit it a few more times and you, yeah. you know, you, you stop thinking that's, especially when you're coaching yourself, you know, you really got to be yeah. objective with it and be like all right i know i want to work harder than anybody else doing this show but is it smart for me to do it at this point you know, I know. this much it's so hard it's the hardest thing because yeah. a lot of people associate and my everybody in this chat included harder work with looking better but sometimes you gotta like yeah it's the only sport like that though because if you look at other sports they take a lot more rest yeah in their training yeah. Whereas bodybuilding and fitness, you're like, well, if I do more than this guy, I'm going to look better than this guy. Mm -hmm. Or I, you think I eat less, like a... I'm going to look leaner. And it's like, yeah, yeah. it doesn't always do work you... that way. No, do doesn't. you think that's, do you think that's like an old school myth, you know, because like the go, starting in the golden era, you know, the guys would train for four or five hours a day, do tons of cardio, jog on the beach and all that stuff. And it's like, you know, all the supersets and it got crazy. And then it's like, then you had the heavy hitters like Dorian, where it's like lower cardio, more rest days. And then science was like, yeah, you need the rest days. But everyone's still kind of their first idols, like the old school guys, right? So it's like, that's the embedded in their head from the get-go. Yeah. But if you look at the difference in the physiques too, I mean, Big they, weren't, they weren't, it, they weren't <laughs> yeah. as good. Mm -mm. Um, so I think it, the science does pan out. Yeah. 
who had that bodybuilder question build the bodybuilder so uh, you... i think it was like his name was uh hunter okay yeah well, what was the question so build your the best bodybuilder you could build at with the individual body parts based off every like pro bodybuilder okay all right let's 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 build this together here you want to go uh, you want to use build like together. former former body like all all time anybody ever okay so we're we'll gonna start feet up so who's so not feet not right? feet not feet, calves, we'll calves. Calves. <laughs> yeah. Calves. <laughs> yeah let's start calves i think calves i'm gonna go with frank hauser i was, I was about to say thing. frank hauser too yeah him or uh dorian always had some yeah him or dorian but i think slabs. frank houser's were a little better yeah frank houser and, uh, and then Tom pikulski 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 had some bad quad or uh, bad uh calves he did remember that yeah so i'll go with frank houser though yeah frank houser those were epic all right so uh quads quads have to be flats with the frank houser calves because they like hang in the, the deep cuts, the Frank Hauser calves. Because you have to make it look like flowy, right? Hey, I'm going with Ronnie. For quads? Yeah. yeah. I just, I want to say Platts, but I don't know if Platts' legs were that, it had enough size. I think they just no, looked they so didn't. much bigger than everybody else's. They were, they were, were the freakiest thing you've ever seen. And they were huge. But I don't think that they were like, like, Ronnie Coleman probably had five inches on him. Yeah, that's what he's, I think. Because they're just so Platts huge. is also standing next to bunch of guys that didn't really have great legs at that time. Yeah, but are you going for overall size? Or are you going for the flow, of the physique? So you're putting together the overall body type. You have to make it. Yeah, I mean, because if you're going for if you're going for size, you can go with like Ramy, but he doesn't necessarily have the most pleasing. Yeah, because yeah. Platts had separation in every muscle group. It's like adductors would pop out. Yeah, he had quads, huge, the feathering's everything. Then that moon pose he would hit, no homo. <laughs> You're not allowed to do it anymore. Yeah, I know um, he got banned. <laughs> he's got banned. Yeah, I go with plats. I'm going plats. Plats. Like think of right. think of plats, but like with modern day technology, like it would be beat. Like that he did that back in the day. Well, if we could, if we can scale every body part to make them fit. You know, if everybody was the same size, but just that look, I think that's how we needed. No, I, I think we go in with that size. With the, I don't think you could change it. Okay, so so you're you're going with uh, Platt's separation over Ronnie's size. Yeah, yeah, it's a more pleasing look to me. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm sticking with Ronnie. Okay. I might I might have a few Ronnies though. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm a Let's big see. Fan. Abs. Oh, uh, ham. Gotta do hammies. Oh, okay. Um, and then glutes. Ha glutes are separate. Hamstrings, Phil Heath. Yeah, Phil. I'm going Tom Prince. I don't remember what his looked like. Let me look. Oh, my. This thick. Wasn't it kind of like a Nick Walker is thick? Yeah, but like a little bit more uh, separation. Separation. Yeah. I don't know, Phil's oh. hamstrings though. Like those things are so dug out. Yeah, nobody's ever had dug out hamstrings like that. There we go. Are you pulling it up on the big screen? Yeah, I got a big screen well, action coming at James you. James, my little screen. Yeah. <laughs> Pull that side chest, dude, dude. Look at Ronnie right here. Yeah, Ronnie's Yo. insane. He's insane. You pull up side chest. Well, is that is that Tom Prince right there? There's a little hamstring action. Let's see. Yeah, that that's no, like that's this one. Top, go that top left one. That's Tom Prince. Is that Tom Prince? I don't, I don't think no, I don't look like Tom Prince. No, I think that's him. Oh. Yeah, that, that ain't beating feel though. Look at uh hold on. Go to that must have been like an older pick or something. Go to that top left. He's guest posing here. Look at that. Uh, 
That's it's not bad, but still, he so. Yeah, I'm still gonna go with Tom Prince just to be different from you guys. Hey, check these bad boys out. Sheesh. Sheesh. Look at that. Uh, yeah, I'm changing my mind. <laughs> <laughs> what about, yeah, we'll take Phil's. I'll take Phil's hamstrings. All right. His hamstrings are filthy. <laughs> All right, All right glutes. so glutes, who we got? Where'd you go, Barley? Man? Glutes. You see me? Oh, yeah, there you go. Probably right. Ronnie's dudes. That was tie-ins plus strikes. I'm going. I'm going Ronnie's glutes. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah those are, like that. We saw those earlier. It's just a. It's a long glute too. Man. It's a long. It's, it's like a horse. It's like a I was horse. Say that we're like looking for pictures of um, Prince, and then we're just like, look at Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ronnie glutes. Uh, let's do abs. Oh, definitely midsection. Definitely big Lenny. No, it's <laughs> <Yeah, big laughs> Tom Flats abs. <laughs> Who's that? Big uh, Lenny was... Del Rey Misfits. It's like the guy oh. with the huge Palumboism with the abs on the outside. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Flats abs. <laughs> Little freak show. <laughs> um, man, uh, I'm going I, I Flex be... Wheeler. As as much as I hate to not want to say this, I don't like him. I think Sean Ray's abs are. Little... Sean Ray, yeah. Because they're so like tight. They were good. Yeah. Or that dude, Amir, Amir, uh, he's like 2000s bodybuilder. His name was Amir Spitter or something like that. He's a Middle Eastern bodybuilder. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I'll go with Sean Ray. Sean Ray. I'd agree with Sean Ray. Yeah. But Flex Wheeler was like close. Yeah, I mean they're I'll they're right there. One, really. yeah, yeah, it's just a different style of ab. What what about today's uh, what about today's open? Whose abs would you go with? Open. Yeah. Body. That's they're nails. Because you, you got to factor in the serratus too. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. He's got a really sick serratus. And he can vacuum for hours. Yeah. He can still vacuum pretty nice. Yeah, I hey, go they, with they, hey, hey, they don't want to see uh, Sean Roden in it though. No. True. Hey, I talked to him um at the event the other day and I was like, Hey dog, I was like, Man, you looking you looking pretty good, man. Hey, getting ready for October, ain't you? I said, You getting for ready October, ain't you? He said he started dancing a little bit. I'm like, Oh, uh oh, he's getting ready, baby. So I mean he hadn't I love to I love this I love to see him up there. Yeah. He hadn't been cleared of all that other stuff yet, but I, I think it's time to let Dude, him. Dude, it's been like compete. two years. You're he like putting been... this guy's career and livelihood on hold for what? Yeah. He should, like, if it yeah. was really, I don't know, dude. I feel like if he actually did it, they would have already like arrested him by now. Whatever happened to innocent, they'll prove him guilty. Yeah. It doesn't exist in the cancel culture. It doesn't Let's exist in, I, yeah, in IFBB or cancel culture. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, let's hit chest. Ronnie. Oh, <laughs> Big chest armor plates. <laughs> he had, or Jay. I like Jay's chest back in the day. Arnold's chest was great. <sighs> Arnold did have a good chest. Yeah. That was like the best chest of all time. I don't think it'd look that big, though. On, I don't know. Like, if it looks that big back in the day too, and because like people don't really have that fullness anymore, like some people do, but because back then they didn't get as lean, so he held a huge shelf, and that's how he had it full everywhere. Even though Nick Walker's chest was looking pretty thick this past weekend, the other weekend, it's still like is like one of his worst weakness. body parts. Too. Yeah. I know yeah. it's ridiculous. On his like chest, the back one's just like a pillow with striations everywhere. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with, uh, with Ronnie just because it, like, hung down so low. It it's, took up uh, a lot of area. I'm, I'm pulling up a picture of it here because. You know what I mean? Hey, it just, yeah. like, took up so much area. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, it's just. Because even, like, in his front, any, any shot, it looked big. Some guys with big side chests, 
it disappears like front double and poses like, like that it's like a it's like a freaking like armor it's like <laughs> laying a vest of armor on look at look at how look at this yeah Jeez. because a lot of people's chests disappear in that one this doesn't maybe i don't know go look up dennis james dennis james has got a good chest he had a huge chest too man but i really like ronnie's chest when he's just like you know like a front relaxed yeah it's just like oh It was thick. You can yeah, get that most muscular right there. He's on stage. Yeah, because he had to do stage shots. Because in the gym, he was a absurd. The, yeah, he's he... looks a little shallow there. The yeah, yeah, it's not as aesthetic as Ronnie's chest. Yeah, yeah I'll go Ronnie over him. Let's look at Jay's real quick. I always thought it looked pretty solid. He has more of a square chest. It's squared out for sure. Yeah. I think if you're looking for flow of physique, probably Ronnie's chest if you're going with. Um, what about Mar like did Mar Marcus Rule have a huge chest? I think he did. <laughs> hey, dude, he was big everywhere. Good Marcus Rule. Good back bugger up there. <laughs> Dude, what a freak, dude. Freak. <laughs> what a freak. I might pick his chest. Look at that upper chest split. That is a crazy. It's like a Franco split, but on a mask. Yeah, monster. but bigger. Look at that. Jeez. Hey, Branch Warren had a nasty one, too. He did. He, I'm going rules chest. What's that top yeah. picture? Oh, I think I'll that was go a back. photo. Yeah, I think it's like a fucked up photo. Hey, look at that hang time right there, son. Yeah, that's that's edited. That's yeah, edited. that's edited. That ain't him. No, I, I saw them sweeps. I was like, no, not quite. Dude, have you seen Young Branch quite photos? He was aesthetic. Yeah, he really was. He, he beat Jay Cutler. Yeah. He's just grainy, dude. That's yeah. Yeah. His look at that look stage so photo. Good. Look at that one over there on the left. Bottom, go down. Left a little bit. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't pick that chest. No. I'm going no, I'm I'd... going Marcus Rule chest. I'm going Ronnie. Had more uh striations going on in it. I think it looks good. Um back. We're going Phil. Phil or Ronnie. Ronnie. Because yeah. Dorian was good, right? But like on this three D no. you need to go with a three D back. I'm going uh what was his name? Joel Stedman. Remember that Jamaican bodybuilder with no legs? Uh, Stubbs. 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 Yeah, Stubbs. I'm going yeah. Stubbs. Yeah, Joel Stubbs. Yeah, Dude, that put, was, put up that Joel was, Stubbs back. That was massive. I don't know if it looked so big just because he didn't have, it like, was a very unproportionate to the rest of his body, but uh, it yeah, was I, crazy. I, I'm, I met him at one of the first Arnold's I ever went to, and I was like, dude. Look at the back on the sucker. Stupid. Look at the meat. Well, he's next to Ronnie in there. There's that. Hold on. There's go down. There's one next to Ronnie. Right there. Whose back are you taking there? You have to enlarge it, Marley. I can't really see the whole thing. I'm having trouble here. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. I mean, Stubbs has it right there, if you ask me. And, and until Ronnie pulls that freaking uh, Christmas tree, that's no. I think like, Ron. I, I think, think Ronnie. Ronnie's got thicker. It's thicker lats. Yeah, I think Ronnie has the overall. Yeah, Ronnie's hanging more. Yeah, I'm going Ronnie. Ronnie back. Uh, Ronnie's got more impressive lower erectors too, especially yeah, he, when he what. When he when he lights it up down there at the bottom, yeah, because he was deadlifting fucking eight hundred pounds and yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah, like two. No, weeks he out. wasn't. He was lifting peanuts. 
<laughs> and uh all right so shoulders fatal, i mean uh um, yeah shoulders shoulders uh, we got shoulders and arms are we doing them separate or together yeah i'd say separate. together well no we gotta do shoulders separate and we gotta do biceps and triceps separate oh goodness tricep roly winkler let's get that one out of the way that's what i was gonna say yeah roly for tricep maybe if you're doing <laughs> bicep plus forearm would have to be um are we doing forearm separate because phil heath has best forearms by far i'm going lead priest forearms no i'm going flex lewis forearms those are pretty nasty yeah these are na- he's got such nasty forearms i'm i'm cool with that and um Really triceps. Bicep. I'm going, going biceps. biceps I'm going Ronnie. Because the peaks? Yeah. Yeah. Just massive, dude. Biggest arms. And then they get the peak on them. You know, most of the time when you see arms that big, they don't, they're not peaked. They lose the peak out. Yeah. Yeah. And then shoulders, man. I think Jay. He had some had wide, wide clavicles. Jay had some wide cannonball delts. Yeah. Man. Yeah. That was a good one. That was a good question. Whose face you have to complete with aesthetics, right? Because if I my face was on Chris Bumstead's body, it wouldn't look as good, right? Chris Bumstead's <laughs> face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See my face. <laughs> you can't pick an open body bone face. <laughs> Keep the hair on there in the stash. Yeah. All right. Uh got a question. You have one hour to train. You need to do weights and cardio. How do you split it up? You got one if hour. Only, if I had one hour, that's yes. what I'm doing. Okay. I'm doing 45 minutes, and I'm going to do Superset City, more than likely, Yeah. to keep it quick. And then I'm going to do like 15-minute hit. Yeah. Just get after it. If you only have an hour. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. I was going to say the same thing. I mean, I don't, you know, probably don't need to do hit every single day, you know. Just because that's gonna that's gonna shock the old central nervous system there, but you know, maybe maybe if you did, I, you could take a little more time or do a little less intervals, maybe. Well, it depends but, on how many days a week they're training. That's so true. Gonna, that's true. If because if I'm assuming someone only has an hour, they probably don't train that many days of the week. They're probably gonna train like four days a week. Yeah, but I could be wrong. So so if you had four days, would you do? Would you do hit all four days? Yeah, yeah. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. How many? How many intervals? I'd probably do like. I'd probably do one to one ratio, thirty thirty. I like thirty thirty, but how many intervals though? You going? That'd be, 15, that'd be 15. fifteen. Hey, that's yeah. killer. That's or, killer. Uh, I guess you. I guess you allow for like a two minute warm up, and then like a one minute cool down. So probably like twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot, most people most people can't do that though. Starting out. I was gonna say just do a nice little warm up for ten minutes or so, you know, on the treadmill or something like that. Walk around 10, 15 minutes, then do focus on lifting. Because if you put someone on hit, they're probably gonna get their appetite to the roof, then they're gonna cheat on their meal plan. And you just want to retain muscle as much as you can, especially when dieting or bulking. So cardio is kind of the little helper piece i mean if it, then you have to take into account what they're doing for their job you know if it's sedentary then they gotta get up and move once in a while but like if they're have a job at the hospital or something and they're already getting their steps in it's cardio at that point it's kind of obsolete i would just focus on lifting to be honest yeah it's a really freaking vague question there's a lot of variables to consider yeah but if this yeah. is a lifestyle person asking i would focus more on weights first Make sure your body is trying to keep that muscle while you're getting rid of it. And then you have to warm up before you lift. So they'll walk around the track a few times. I'm not big on warming up before I lift, man. I, I just, used to not I, be, but I am it's going to Ohio with the cold weather too. I use like, I use the, the exercises to warm up. Yeah. Depends uh, on I've, never, I've just always been like that. I've never been like a get on the treadmill or bike guy. Yeah, I'm uh I'm more towards James's um answer there. I I want to do a 45 minute training session. That's that's a great session if you're getting after it. You can get 
everything you need to get done done 45 minutes if you're getting on it you know obviously like maybe uh he wants to work in a leg day in there maybe we're not going to do cardio that day yeah. because uh we need to you know that extra 15 minutes just for yeah, rest in would, between bigger sets I, you know i probably wouldn't do the hit on leg day but yeah here's a good way to save time for warming up i found so like you pick a let's just say you're doing chest go do like a chest machine like a press machine whatever like a plate a pin loaded chest machine mm-hmm. and then you do six reps go up a couple plates six reps go up a couple plates six reps till like six is tough and then by then you're like you're like kind of ready to go i learned yeah. that from john meadows mm-hmm. and then or like leg or like for like you're doing quads you just do it like leg extensions or leg curls or something yeah and you, you just get it works there up like really really quick hey off topic real quick have you got your uh, plan from jansen in yet no, I'll get it tomorrow. Okay. So, uh, James James hired one of the hottest coaches right now to guide him in. So, we're going to see what it's all about. Let's see how shitty it's about to get, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you listen, you're doing him a favor because you're in good shape as far out as you are. Yeah, he said he wasn't worried when I sent him photos. So, I was like, okay, no. good. No. <laughs> I was like, thank God. Yeah. And I said, yeah. I said, I'm like, like legit, like checking yeah. photos. And I was like, yeah, yeah. He's like, you look good. He's like, he wasn't worried. So I'm like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's cool. Hey, he's a big sneaker here, ain't he? Yeah. That's how we became friends. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I know he started his page was like MJ's locker or something. Yeah. Yeah. He's been busy that's though. Tight. He hasn't really been keeping up with it too much, but yeah. Yeah. He still posts like shit on his stories with his shoes he's wearing. Hey, he's a got... big, big, big Jordan head. Hey, you don't have as much heat as you though. He got a lot though, man. He just doesn't show it off like that, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got a lot of shit. I bet. He's been doing. He's been doing it for a while, so he's got a lot yeah. of like old heat yeah. too. Yeah. Hey, uh, who uh, who bought more shoes this week, me or you? I might have got you this week. I don't know. We both was up there. <laughs> All right, you want to? <laughs> this is what I got. I got a pair of New Balances, two pairs of Jordan Shadows. Oh, the yeah, the two. The, the, the Mach Badlands. Oh. And then I got then I got Reebok pumps. Those <laughs> pumps are sick. Five. Five in a week. Yeah, yeah, dude, this is my nasty. favorite shoe I got all year, dude. Dude, it's so nice. Dude, man. I like that old school hey. vibe on those shoes you've been getting, too. Oh, Bro. These are fucking comfortable too. Let me tell you. Hey, hey I lost the draw <laughs> on finish line. That's the only place. So I guess I gotta do a little resale action if I want them. Yeah, they're they're they they're coming on, man. So I talked to my Reebok Connect, and like they're they've already distributed. Some minor stores might pop up with some though. Really? Like some like lower. Yeah. Yeah, but all the big stores like Champs, Foot Locker, Foot Action, they've already released it. Mm. So what's and the best now, bet? What's the best bet? Goat or stock X? Yeah. Yeah. Those are nasty though. Be, those They're look steeper good. than I thought though on resale. Everybody, everybody it's like I know. You got the it's a niche market. And people that yeah. like pumps really like pumps. Yeah. What what was retail on them? I know you got them for free, but 140. Yeah. I got that yeah. that that plug. Hey, that's super nasty. I got that rebox plug. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to, uh, let's see. You had five. Um, I bought one last night before I went to sleep. I sent you a picture we'll of those that. new balances. Yeah, we'll count that. Okay. Um, what else did I do, dude? Oh, I bought some Griffies off eBay, the little fresh waters. And uh, there's one more pair. So I had three. That's a strong week. That's a big week. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a lot of that's a lot of research on cardio. But here's the deal: like that uh, the shot that I sent you. Uh-huh. Like, hey, I'm. This is branding. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so that's what I tell myself. I'm like, hey, I'm tax write off. I'm keeping all the receipts. You know, hey, this is this is yeah. advertising. <laughs> business expense <laughs> yeah i started doing that since i started my llc up. 
Yeah, you might as well. Yeah. There was there was one more. I, I can't think of it right now, but yeah, those gray days you got are pretty solid. Yeah, that's a really nice shoe, man. They're cheap. Yeah. They're like ninety dollars retail too. They're awesome. They're awesome. Yeah. So uh, got one more question here, Casey. What was that one you had about uh? Uh, the um, what are the fundamentals of carb cycling? Or the three foods and veggies, or let's do the carb yeah. cycling one first. Go ahead. What is it? That's it. Do you want me to start? Yeah. Uh, so, in a nutshell, I'll start off with just a nutshell. So, you got a gas tank in your body, it's like your gas tank in your car, and you slowly drive a lot with less fuel, and then you fill it up a little bit with more fuel. And then you keep and you lower it like that. That's carb cycling. So you don't ever get too full, but you don't ever, and then you kind of get low, but then you kind of fuel back up again. I would, uh, my analogy would be something like a, a campfire. You know, you, you throw wood on it every now and then, spark it up. You should utilize that food, burn it down deplete as the flames going down depleting just hanging out chilling fired up zap 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 back and forth that's a good that's a good analogy kind of it but but you know and that's the importance of carb cycling because you want to keep that fire lit you know you don't want to just flood it you don't want to dump you dump all your wood on the stack you know right out of the gates you know you gotta yeah. you got you gotta ration it out and spike it as it as you need the warmth. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is hilarious because it's like James gave like more of like a city boy explanation, probably gave yeah. more of a country explanation. Yeah. People listening that don't know car cycling is like, what the heck are these dudes talking about? So tell us, Casey. What's your analysis? Break it down. I was going to say it's more like a sponge, you know, it's like a muscle, like a sponge. It's like you squeeze it, and you make sure there's only this much in the sponge every day, and then one day you'll let it absorb more water. You squeeze it harder so that you let it absorb more water, but you don't want to um, put it in too much water, or else it's going to get you know too many carbs and spill over. You don't want to get more fat from a carb cycle. So essentially, like if people want a really good explanation, you can look at science channels like Jeff Nipper just came out the video, and he shows the difference in having more of a carb cycle where you eat steady for a couple of weeks, then you do more of a maintenance for a couple of weeks. So there's so many different forms. So we can't like explain all the different one. Like we all do the one high day a week. Well, what's so, your, what kind of, well, yeah, let's go over the forms. Cause you got, I, I usually like the low medium and high for carb cycle. Same. I like the low and then the high. Okay. I don't, yeah. Cause like beginning of prep, I'll do more of like a moderate day, but I do it by feel. So I, I know what my high day is, right? Mm -hmm. So I go, I'm not eating more carbs than this. And then I just do it by feel. So if I go, okay, I still feel like I'm energy from yesterday. I'll do a really low day because it's only like arms today. So I'll go lower. And then the next day, if I'm like feeling a little laggy in energy, I'll go, okay, maybe I'll do a little moderate more of a day. And then like, I have that one high day two times a week. They'll go, okay, I'm maxing out for like a leg day and then back tomorrow or something. So I kind of go by feel. Yeah, I, I know what I do that too. is for the week. Yeah. Yeah, I do that too. Like, like you said, the most important thing with carb cycling is timing it with your workouts and what body parts that you're working, you know, uh, yeah, it's okay to do a high day on arm day, but you know, it, when you can, when you can, um, uh, the body's going to be just ready to absorb the heck out of nutrients after a hardcore leg day or, a hardcore back day you know what i mean so i always like to prioritize my higher days on days that i'm actually expending more energy you know or the night before you know i've always been big doing that but a lot of these times that you see me do my refeeds it's in between a back and a leg day or a leg and a back day you know what i mean so i'm getting extra extra calories there to recover from that hardcore workout and then I'm going to keep it going because I got a hardcore day coming the next day. After that, I can go low here three or four days in a row, you know, because shoulders, I don't need that much arms. I don't need that much, um, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I like, it's, I like, 
So what it sounds like is, Casey, you like to do, as the prep gets down more, you pretty much just eliminate the medium day. Yeah. And you're just running low days and then high days. Yeah, I just literally run the I, that, at that point. That's why I use more of a scale in my look as a feel, as you know, the only tool. So I'll keep it low as long as I know, and then it's like, or as long as I need to. And then when I see my body get too flat or the scale dips too fast, then I'll feed up. So gotcha. it's like more of a high day for one day, and not kind of because like the second day you're drinking water, so I don't do the second day a high day. So it's like you'll still keep the weight a little bit because you'll get a couple increase in pounds, then it'll slowly. And then I think on the about third day is when I'll see it pretty much break where I was and then I pushed down a little bit farther for a couple of days depending on how fast it dropped yeah so mm -hmm. I have this line I'd like spike it up and that's like and then once it dips down then you spike it and you keep making that it's like a you know stocks it might just keep trending down yeah I like doing that but with medium days and low days uh-huh it's, it's the same con it's the same concept it's just I find if I go like I only do like this the low and high like towards the very end but like, like right now I'll do what you do, but I'll throw in on my off days will be like a low day, but then my training days are medium days. And then what I do is the day before legs, which is Friday for me, I do, a, I, that's when I have my high day. Yeah. I, I, I think I get more training benefit from the day before, not the day of, and I'd rather. So what, what body part does that fall on? So you're doing it the, the day before legs. So what are you training that day before legs typically? Does it change week to week or what? Uh, it's like a back pump day. Yeah, there you go. So that's basically it's not like it's not too. like heavy like deadlifts or bent yeah. over rows. Yeah, pretty much all like yeah. cable work. Yeah, 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 yeah. But still, still back. You know what I mean? Yeah, getting more contraction there than. But I don't really else. start. I don't really start loading hard till after my back session. So like, yeah, during the day I go a little bit higher in my carbs. So I don't like eating a lot before I train. Like, I don't like that feeling. And then, like, because my digestion, I just feel sluggish. And, but then after my back training session in the afternoon, then I load pretty hard for, like, three to four meals before I go to bed. And then I wake up Saturday morning, and then I go back on my normal diet. And See, then I, train. I just do it all in one meal before bed. <laughs> <laughs> because, it, because if I'm eating carbs every meal, then I ain't going to stop. I just got to throw it in there at the end. <laughs> I found that when I do that, if I just do like one meal and I do it all at once, yeah. I don't absorb the nutrients as effectively. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure I, I don't. Yeah. That's just, that's just damage control for me. And, you know, and, and I'm usually, trying to keep my waist down and I find I get less dissertation yeah. when I spread it oh, out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what I found works well too? If you like trying to keep it mostly clean, it's like on those high days. It's like just spreading out a ton of rice throughout the day. So when you get to that cheat meal at night, you're not no. as hungry. Like yeah. that was me last to night. To go to bed. Yeah. That was me last. That was me yesterday. I was like, I didn't even feel like having like yeah. a huge cheat meal. So I was like, yeah, I'll just save yeah. the fifty bucks for DoorDash. <laughs> just <laughs> pretty much <laughs> not do that. Hey, so James, you already showed Hedra of the week. I've got to show my artwork real quick. Yeah, I was actually really impressed with this. Like, no, like, I'm not just, like, like pumping see. you up here. Let's see. How long did that take you? I can't hardly see it, can you? For anyone that's having trouble seeing it, go to Bartley's page. It looks sick. Oh, that's a little yeah. bit. I don't know. Yeah. How long did that take you? Dude, it wasn't too bad. A couple, few hours. This looks good. So I just uh I need to buy another pair now and freaking do a good job of mine. Hey, hey, what what do you like? Do you like the uh the faded out pink to black right there, or do you like the little speckled salamander going on? I mean I like it both, but um I kind of like the inside. Yeah, that like looks it inside. It looks it looks cleaner, I think. It's just more pop yeah but uh because it ties with that lace the lace selection you chose perfectly yeah hey it comes with the with those uh, peach ones too yeah so that that would look that would look sick but uh yeah that was fun i've got uh my boys working on the the custom titan fuel ones those are going to be so nasty be sick. Yeah. yeah yeah and keeping the hey James, did you know that uh, 
somebody messaged me today something on sneakers they did a shock drop i never even heard of it yeah they did they did too and i was like doing client work and i wasn't looking at my phone i was on my computer how are you supposed to know that that we get get the, or something you gotta get the soul links app soul links app so it's a it go, and then and then have the notifications set to where you get it on your phone hmm. hey, it'll like whole, pop up this whole sneaker game that's something else ain't it <laughs> tell me man because hey, yeah the unc's dropped and then that other like uh black and silvery color way one drop and then the bacons dropped this week too the air max 90s which i was super mad about missing that because i can't have my phone at work i gotta keep it outside my office and like a storage container that's why you have to do one of those um eye watches and just yeah i can't have an eye watch at my, my office dang oh that sucks <laughs> yeah because bluetooth sucks okay hey, guys the- I need to go take a smoke break. They're like, you know, I do that all the time. <laughs> I'm always going. To, that's why I started doing those walks too, because I can like go get my phone and then look up my yeah. phone. Yeah. Hey, you just go, guys. I got poop. Bad. I'll be yeah. back. <laughs> I don't have like a boss, so like no one's like looking yeah. at me. If I'm yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, right. As long as I get like the work done, that's all that matters. So, um, the Redcon one. Nashville GM opening was today. I've talked to a few people today. They said it was packed. They said, uh, I think it's like a 60,000 some square foot spot. That's huge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, dang, that seems, seems pretty wild. But, um, so listen to this. So I got invited to, uh, Aaron Singerman's VIP after party tonight at some mansion you, in Tennessee. Are you going? I don't know, dude. Are you gonna refeed? <laughs> There's gonna be so much food, dude. Listen, dude. listen they uh, somebody sent me uh, the flyer. I guess that he sent to the people that he wants coming or whatever. And, yeah. Uh, so I looked at it and it said open bar. Uh, it said open bar. It said uh, all food catered. I'm like, gosh, dude. It was That's like it's it's out. For bar- it's, yeah Barbie it's a beaver man- to go to a catered event yeah it's it's a mansion with a pool like it's a back backyard type of it looked ridiculous I here's like, what man. i say you do this is what i would do just what? i'm just gonna play the devil for you what what <laughs> casey could play the angel all right you just gotta go and then go fast for 36 hours after you're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> you're gonna do that shit anyway <laughs> just go you put on it? a show yeah, go ahead, go do your cardio, do some fasting shit <laughs> afterwards. Honestly, the worst that can happen, the worst that can happen, right, is you just don't do this show. <laughs> There's still like four more national shows. That's the worst that could happen if you no, do I'm it doing and then you're like, it. I'm doing it. You know what no, I'm saying? That's but I'm saying that's absolute worst that could happen. That's the worst case scenario. That happen, yeah. yeah, the best case scenario is all the connections you meet and all the food you could eat. So it's like, oh, it's Network City. I mean, it's, it's gonna be yes, good. Saying, it's like it's right there. Good it's food too. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be like seafood and shit. Like, yeah, like yeah. If I was, if yeah, I was, probably, probably, I would do what James said because I would just like, because you know, you've been training hard, <laughs> like over the top. <laughs> He's trying to get me to fast for three days too. <laughs> no, but if not if you only eat mostly proteins. So if you eat mostly protein. Oh, here's so here's the, the thing. The food. Here's here's the zone that it's I'm all in. gonna be good food. There's going to be like shrimp, lobster, crab legs, hey, filet mignon. Hey, here's the zone that I'm in right now. I can go there and not even eat one thing. Just oh, drinking nah. Diet Coke. Hey, that's what I did last night in Nashville. Hey, somebody okay, last some, somebody brought me a... Food. Well, they did eat at uh, Steak, STK, which is the best steakhouse in Nashville. It's like... 60 70 dollar steaks you know Ooh. minimum yeah they ate there and i was like ah, i'll pass i'll pass tonight <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah you get you get a little a la carte side that's like 25 dollars like brussels sprouts 25 dollars oh yeah it's like, it's like it's like it's fire it's fire i ate there for my birthday yeah. uh, a year or two ago and i said i want the baddest I was already had, had a little birthday buzz going on. I said, I want the baddest steak you got in this sucker. 
I don't care what it costs. It's my birthday, and I'm eating the best steak that you got. Hey, brought it out, hundred ninety nine dollars. <laughs> what was it? Was that Seriously? tomahawk? Yeah, it's tomahawk. Yeah, I got a, I got a tomahawk. five pound tomahawk. If there's this place that has them here. It's real good. That shit was expensive. Hey, my my girlfriend at the time paid for it, so I was like, cha ching. <laughs> She's like, I got your birthday dinner. I was like, yes. <laughs> like, give me the most expensive. Thing. <laughs> yeah. No, no I think I. I'd probably go to that thing tonight, honestly. If I was in your if shoes. If I got invited, I would go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're in control of how much you eat. You can still eat, like I said, mostly protein and fat and then take a rest day tomorrow because you don't need to store up all the glycogen, right? So I just focus on protein and greens because they're going to get fat added into like the high end stuff. It's like they're going to make their steak with butter and stuff. So you don't need to be going getting no fatty foods because it's already fat enough. Hey. So. What pair of J's should I wear, James? Depends what you're wearing. A hey, Ky, Ky Green, Blessing, all them's there. So I, I need to I need to be fresh. I don't hey, know. Hey, maybe bust it, out the new artwork. I was about to I was about to say I could I could definitely I'd do bust that. Those, if, you think man. It, if you think it looked okay that, with the plain that will one. catch that will catch some eyes, man. Okay. Go like black pants or blue jeans yeah. with a white shirt or black shirt. Yeah. Something real basic. Let the shoes do the talking. Yeah. Yeah. I will throw on I'll throw on some jorts and uh some long jorts and uh uh I'll find a shirt. I'd go pants if I was going to Singerman's house. Hey, pants? It's hot. It's hot, boy. You're going to get bloated from all that food. <laughs> no, <laughs> get the I don't meat think sweats it. one minute your in. Ankles, your ankles <laughs> are going to blow up. Dang. If I go, I don't Not know. Not if, if he drinks alcohol. Eat. You got to flush the fluid, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boys, I wish I, I wish I could play around. I'm, I'm the master of, master of disaster when it comes to fasting and, uh, Doing me, crazy know. stuff but i i'm a little too <laughs> uncomfortable to do it right now really I, I gotta i gotta grind dude i gotta grind it out i think you might need it man you've been going like hard yeah. like hard hard yeah yeah i think uh, this will reduce some cortisol get your body liking it like <laughs> liking itself again yeah yeah grind but it. like i said you're in control so you can only have one steak but you know it's gonna be a nice steak like you can do steak and sun greens and then call it a night. So you're not getting a crazy high surplus where you feel like you need to dig yourself out of a hole. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that. Get a little bit of like shrimp or whatever they have there. Man. Hey, they might, not, they, go right they, through you, man. hey they might, they might just have burgers. You never know. No. Hey, they might have burgers. He probably, and dogs. Has, like, catered, he probably has like catered sushi and all yeah, that he, shit. He's, he's, he's big timing. I've seen, I've seen some of those parties. If he's got all those athletes there at the house, he's going to have some some good stuff. Crazy. He's going to have, like, sushi yeah. and, like, shit like that, too. Well, I better Guaranteed. get off here. I better get off here and get ready then. We <laughs> <laughs> saw already watering. He's like, I guess I'm going to eat tonight. Hey, I was, I was, we're we're going to be watching your stories later, for sure. Much. Hey, I was. That's what I plan on doing it. this Saturday night. Is living vicariously through you, Bartley. Hey, hey, y'all, uh, talk me into it. I was just gonna take a nap on the couch and eat a meal and chill out and relax. Maybe scrape my quads a little bit. And maybe do some cupping on my chest and shoulders. What do you think? I, I uh, say, if you were invited, I'd say go. Hey, you know what it's called? Singer mania, brother. Singer mania. So, I better go check it out, dude. Yeah, I better go check it out. Well, if I was invited in your situation, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably go too. Like you know how I am close to a show. I'll do a crazy high feed and then crazy low for a week, then crazy high. So, like we yeah. like we said earlier, cardio and stuff. Like it would be even good just to take a rest day tomorrow after you eat a steak or two. You know. Let your body just relax. Yeah, I definitely have an off day coming up here within the next day or two. So yeah, and, that, and that'll be my last one until I rest for the show. You know, yeah, yeah, it's just that easy week. So, yeah. So, all right, boys, good pod, and uh, let's get you ready, boys.
one week at a time. Yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know at Matt later next tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> see how bad it's gonna get. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait to see. Face <sighs> next I, I pod can't... is gonna be like striations hey. on my jaw. Hey, I can't wait to uh, see him put you on normal person macros and not superhero <laughs> macros. You know, you know he's he's going he's going. I don't know. Depends Let's on see. what you said in your questionnaire, I guess. I give I didn't that full disclosure. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, boys, keep killing it. I'll uh, send you off some snaps tonight. Yeah. All right, <laughs> All right. All right brother. Later, y'all. Talk to you guys later.